everyone. This is Diane. It is 11 o'clock Saturday, March 9th. I can't even remember the last time I uploaded a video. It's been a while. But I wanted to come out here real quickly because I went to buy groceries today, Saturday. And I stopped at Goodwill, Dollar Tree, Tuesday morning, Harbor Freight. Where else? And then to buy groceries. <laughs> I don't have the Harbor Freight items to share because I still have those in the car, but I have everything else that I'm going to share with you. And I'm going to share a little video clip from my Goodwill haul. Look at this beauty I stumbled upon at Goodwill. It's a display case and it's like, it's not that wide. It's like maybe 15 inches deep, um, but look how nice that is. And I wasn't even going into Goodwill today, but it fits up the entire back of my car. And it was 1988. Nothing is broken. The glass, this is glass, is all intact. 1988, I cannot wait. But I went to Dollar Tree and I really didn't find much at the Dollar Tree. And I know that this, this lighting, like look at my shadow, the lighting is horrible. I'm using like a little tripod and I'm going to include clips from my Instagram story on why this setup looks the way it does because I'm just making a little space. I'm in the process of reorganizing and revamping my little craft space. So I have a mess more so than usual. But I'm going to share, if you do not follow me on Instagram, uh, what I've been sharing on Instagram story uh, with the process because it's just so much quicker than creating a video and uploading it. So anyway, let me get started with what I bought at the Dollar Tree and it wasn't much. Okay, the first thing is um, I was actually looking for the donut pens and tape dispensers, um, but I didn't find either one of them. But I stumbled upon some cute keychains. Um, I have this like weakness for cute keychains, um, cute little pens. So let me share these with you. This one is like superhero, and they also have like some art, like wall art. But I have no use for the wall art whatsoever. But the keychain is so cute. And I don't know if this is picking up. The setting of my camera is also acting up. But this is like a green. And it's not glitter. It's like little pieces of um, gems. Really cute. Um, and this one reads Bam in pink. If you, I don't know if the camera is picking up. But and look at that. It has a cute little tassel. And then another little charm right there. Really cute. The, um, and it has this little clasp as well. So, got that one. That's three different designs. This one. Same little charms. A little purple tassel. Ignore my nails. I am, in the, like I'm telling you, my hands have been beat up with everything that I've been trying to do with this little crafty space. I mean, the last one is a pink one. Can barely make it up, but that reads POW and in pink and they had these like in a little bin just by the register just like thrown there so i thought these were extremely cute i got this cute led pineapple look at that is this cute or what Make sure it works before you get it because I remember buying some Christmas decorations that um, were like this and then when I turned them on they didn't even turn on so yeah so just make sure that's a cute little pineapple nice and it's not like flimsy it's really nice I only grabbed one I really don't need more than one um, I just really don't um, then I got these little pom-pom clip again like a pineapple and it's a little pom-pom I like to I like to put these on my desk at work um, actually I have them like just clipped on different uh, binders. This one is so soft. Then I got this little cute bunny just to have here at my desk in preparation for Easter. How cute is this little bunny? They have a whole bunch of cute little stuffed animals. Um, I mean, I don't need them. I don't have any kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews that are young. I don't. So I just got this cute little bunny here. 
Then I haven't bought a candle at Dollar Tree in a long time, but I stumbled upon these. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up, but it reads Unicorn Magic. And it is a sugared marshmallow scented candle, and it's three ounces. It smells so good. But I didn't go crazy buying any, many of them. I only bought two. And actually one of them I'm going to be uh, sending to somebody. So I'm not even keeping both of them. Then they have another one called Mermaid Dreams. Also three ounces. And this is Pink Sands Scented Candle. It smells so good. I should have got another one. I should have got two of each, but I didn't because I really have a ton, a ton of candles. I also bought one at Walmart. Hold on. These candles, Walmart sells them, and to me, they look identical to the Bath and Body Works that they sell for 20 bucks or 10 bucks or however much they are. Um, these are $4.96 at Walmart, and this one's called Sweet Retreat, and it's 14 ounces, and I'm telling you, it, it looks identical to me, and it's got three wicks, and it smells awesome. I haven't seen this one. $4.96 Walmart. So yeah, that's all that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I didn't find anything else at Dollar Tree that really caught my eye. Uh, ever since I bought those bins and that big Dollar Tree haul I had before, I really haven't found anything else that I need to be buying. So that was that with Dollar Tree. I've been getting these sticker books that the majority of people who go to Tuesday morning are getting. Um, this is one of the sticker books here is the Maggie Holmes sticker book and these are going for $6.99 Here you can see what they look like the stickers Really pretty I'm telling you I have enough stickers to last me a lifetime. I got this one from dear Lizzie These are nice big stickers. I love this one and Here are the sheets right here are some examples of what they look like I mean, it's just a little example. There's 22 pages total in these sticker books. I got this Heidi Swap one. And all of these are $6.99. And I think these are like from Hobby Lobby, right? I don't even know where these are from. I got this one from American Crafts. This is a seasonal one. Then this one is also American Crafts, and it doesn't say what this one is. It's got over a thousand stickers. So yeah, I have enough stickers to last me a lifetime. A lifetime. I also got some 6x6 paper pads. I got this one, Chasing Dreams, Crate Paper. Um, these are single-sided. I mean, Diane does not need another sheet of paper. This is Bloom Crate Paper. Pick Me Up um, from Pink Paisley. I love this one. Today I saw the hot paper pads, buy one get one free. They're, they weren't on sale, they were $20, $19.99, but buy one get one free. I've never seen that with the hot buys, I mean the hot paper pads. I mean, uh, this is Gather. Paper. They kind of all kind of look the same once they start flipping through Like I think I've seen that little image before. remember um, a few months back I bought these little sew ribbons and I'm like where am I gonna store these and I just had them like in some plastic pockets but I found a little case for them for all of them storage case 
fits all six ribbon stencils and I think I have four of them. So for $2.99, I'm like, oh, that'll be great. I can just store them in here, all of them, instead of trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. I got these Crafter Companions uh, water brush pens. These were $4.99, a little pricey, more than I would pay for, but it has this one small detail brush, one medium, and one large. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty good because they're all different sizes. I'm like, okay, that's better than getting three of the same, same type. And then um, I didn't want to buy embossing folders anymore because I remember when these used to be 99 cents and now they're $1.99. But I had not seen this one at all, this fairy with the flower. Look how pretty that is. And then I grabbed this one with the hearts for, for, for Valentine's Day. And then I got this one with all these different trees. Oh, I couldn't help it. They were so cute and they had so many, but I'm not. When they used to be 99 cents. Um, I grabbed this ephemera, uh, Jen Hanf Hadfield. Um, homemade and it's two little baggies of ephemera and these are the pieces that come in it so cute they only had one I would have grabbed two of them if I had found some more and these were $1.99 and the last thing I got was this Sheena Douglas stamp a little bit sketchy look how cute those images are oh my god I don't need to be buying any more stamps at all and here are some other ones that are available. Of course, I didn't find any one of these, just the one that I have, just the one that I bought, but I would, wouldn't mind having this one here. But I couldn't find any more. That's all that they have there yet. Okay, then last thing is Michael's. Is Michael's not getting any Easter stamps or crafty goodies? I haven't seen anything. And isn't Easter like next month? Um, normally I see like, spring paper, Easter stamps, Easter stickers. I haven't seen anything. So I don't know if you guys have seen any at your stores because my area doesn't have anything. So I was, that's why I went in to look for those and they didn't have any of that. So anyway, uh, so they had a 25% off entire purchase coupon and the storage items were 40% off. So I went ahead and got these interlocking tilt bins. Um, I had been looking at these from, it's a deflecto, but they're expensive. So these were 40% off. They came out to $6. And then with the coupon, the extra 25 coupon, uh, these came out to $4.49. And they only had three. I wanted five, but they only had three of them. So yeah, $4.50 from $9.99. That's what they normally are. So these are the ones that... Um, you can stack them up top of each other or side by side and then this little thing just opens up and um well it fits six of those little paint containers so the acrylic paint so we'll see i plan to use maybe stamps with this put stamps in here or maybe pieces of ephemera i'm not sure and then i bought this squishy and these squishies were five dollars um, they range from price from $3.99 to $16. I mean, I don't know. I've never bought these before, but I saw these. And I'm like, oh my God, I found my spirit animal right here. Look how cute this is. <laughs> this spirit animal right here, a chunky unicorn. I thought it was the cutest thing. And these are so cute. Look at that. I really haven't owned any of these and I don't like to get anything white because if you start touching it, you know, our hands get dirty so quick. Um, but I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. Look at that. For five bucks and it came out to, how much was this? I ended up getting this for, I ended up paying three seventy five for this. Let's see why he's working. So anyway, yeah, these were $5 today. All sizes, small, medium, large, they were all five, so I might as well go with the big one. So I thought this was the cutest, chubbiest unicorn ever. This is going to go on my desk. So cute. And that's it, aside from what I bought at Harbor Freight, um, just storage units, because like I said, I'm, I'm revamping this, trying to revamp this crafty space. Actually, what I want to do is gut it. And my husband's like, uh, you don't have that time to gut the room, but I have to gut it because I want an Ikea desk and I want to paint it. So I'm looking around and he's probably right. This is too big of a job. I don't know if I can be able to do it. But that's what I want to do. So for now, that is it. I just wanted to come out here quickly to share with you what I bought today. Um, I just have stuff everywhere because I'm back with organizing in these like clear pockets 
These are Avriel, but then I bought some other ones because they were on sale on, on Amazon. And I decided to buy more in case I run out. So right now I'm just putting them in here to get them out of the original packaging because these... When, these are the ones that I got at HSN. The packaging was super, super thick. And I'm like, no, I need to take it out of the original packaging and just put it in here. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. So I'm, I'm transferring over like all the stamps that I've received, that I've purchased. I'm transferring over all the stamps that I've purchased from like HSN and stamps that I purchased here and there and transferring them here and then putting them in different containers for storage. Um, so I'm using that size envelope clear envelope and then I'm using like the smaller ones. These are Maggie Holmes um, stamps that I purchased that Tuesday morning about a week ago. Actually it was last weekend and this was also on Instagram. That's where I shared the story. There's, these are DVD sleeves smaller than the Avery L's and that's for the purpose of the smaller stamps. Um, this is not the end all product and the way it's going to look. I just have this here so I know that this is a Maggie Holmes look. When I create my labels, I'll know what it is. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been doing this this process for years and I still can't finish because I don't stick with it. I start doing other things. But for now, this is it. I hope everyone had a great Friday evening, Saturday, and you have an even better Sunday. And just keep an eye out for my next video and we'll definitely chit chat on the next one. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye!